Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to the second edition of Shabbat salads and dips and I have a few delicious recipes to share with you today. To start off, I'm going to be sharing with you how I make my eggplant salad that's done completely in the oven. These are the ingredients that I'll be using, an eggplant, two different colored peppers, and a purple onion. I chop everything up into fairly medium chunks and I place it all on a cookie tray lined with parchment paper. To the tray, I add in a quarter cup of oil some salt and black pepper. I mix everything really well and bake it at a 450 degree oven for about 25 to 35 minutes until everything is nice and golden. To the roasted vegetables, I add in a quarter cup of vinegar. Choice of greens, I have here a mixture of dill, cilantro and scallion three cloves of crushed garlic, salt and black pepper. Give everything a very good mix and enjoy. Next, I wanted to share with you beet carpaccio. It is such a gorgeous salad. I simply take some beets, place it into a tin pan, cover it with parchment paper, and I also add in about a quarter cup of water to the pan. I baked it in a 450 degree oven for about 45 minutes. It's so easy to peel these beets. You could either simply use a knife and peel them the whole way, or they can slide just right off if you use the knife just to cut the ends of the beet so the top and the bottom and you can just with your hands slide the skins of the beets off just as you see me doing it right here once all of your beets are peeled i use a mandolin slicer and slice them all up into medium size circles At this point, I line up the beets in a nice order. So I have this flat plate and I'm just arranging the beets in a nice way. And next I'll be sharing with you how I make the dressing for it. So again, here I have some cilantro, scallion and dill that I'll be chopping up for the dressing for the beet carpaccio. To the chopped up greens, I add in three cloves of crushed garlic, half a cup of oil, and a half a cup of vinegar, two teaspoons of sugar, two teaspoons of salt, and half a teaspoon of black pepper. Give everything a very good mix. Separately, I slice up some apricots just to have a nice pop of color in the salad. To arrange everything beautifully, I take my sauce and I put it just in the center of the beets to have that beautiful contrast with the beautiful redness of the beets, the greens from the dressing, and I'm going to be sprinkling on the apricots right over the top.
To finish it all off, I add in some slivered almonds and some pumpkin seeds, but it could be so versatile. You could add in whatever you like. You could even add maybe some pomegranate seeds and it just looks gorgeous and so presentable. Next up, I'll be showing you how I make my zucchini stacks. I take two medium-sized zucchinis, cut them up so it could fit into the food processor, and I shred them. I place in the shredded zucchinis into a bowl, add in two to three eggs, about two to three heaping tablespoons of flour, a teaspoon of salt and black pepper. I start to mix everything. If you notice that your batter is on the dry side, add an egg like I did here. So I use a total of three eggs in my batter. And if you notice that it is a little bit too runny, you could add in another tablespoon of flour. I then place the entire batter onto a parchment lined cookie sheet and flatten the entire batter. It's going to be relatively thin but not see through and I bake that at a 400 degree oven for, for 35 minutes. For the sauce that goes on top of the zucchini stacks, I take about half a cup of mayonnaise, three crushed garlic cloves, and about two heaping tablespoons of dill, some salt and black pepper. I mix everything and place that over the top of the zucchini when they're finally cooked. After adding the sauce, I cut the zucchini in half and place one layer on top of another to create a stack. I then cut the rest of them to the desired size that I want. For decoration, I top each square with some chopped up dill and a slice of cherry tomato. Now on to the hearts of palm salad. I have a can of corn and a can of hearts of palm that I sliced up. And these are the vegetables that I used. Some red onion, some celery, red pepper, some dill. I chopped everything up pretty finely and I'm going to add that into the bowl.
To that I add in about three crushed garlic cloves. A few tablespoons of avocado oil. A squeeze of one lemon. And I season that with some salt and black pepper. Mix everything well and enjoy. Lastly, today I'll be sharing with you how I make my carrot salad. I have about four medium-sized carrots here and I'm using this mandolin slicer with this blade attachment inside. I shred everything up, including the red onion as well. To the shredded carrots and onions, I add in a generous amount of dill about four crushed garlic cloves, two teaspoons of sugar, a dash of coriander, a dash of cumin, a quarter teaspoon of black pepper, and a teaspoon of salt. To that I add in about a quarter cup of oil and a quarter cup of white distilled vinegar. I like to finish it off with a squeeze of half a lemon. I massage the carrots with my gloved hand because I want all of those ingredients to marinate the carrots really well and by massaging them with your hand you make the carrots more pliable and soft and ready to absorb the marination serve it and enjoy I hope you all enjoyed this part two in the series of Shabbat dips and salads. I enjoyed creating this. This was a lot of fun. If you enjoyed it, please give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Until next time.